Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all, I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos, that you watched them, liked them, shared them and especially if you subscribed. Uh, that really, really uh, makes me happy and I'm very grateful for it. Uh, but what really uh, makes me excited that you are back for more. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to give you a big welcome. Uh, I'm very glad that you found me and I hope that this reading will be helpful for all of you. Today we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of August in the areas of money, career and finance. But as usual, this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. So let's get started. In the center of your reading you do have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles has a couple of things um, attached to it. It can be uh, a sign that you've been evaluating things. You've been uh, working on something, you've been putting a lot of effort, energy into something and you're gonna uh, think about it. Is this worth continue doing or should I do something else? Uh, maybe you've been working on a project, maybe you've been in a position or you've been doing your own business and uh, uh, you've been in a position or you've been working for a company for a while and you are really thinking about is this the thing that I want to continue to do or not. So it kind of has this evaluation of um, that you kind of take in, into take uh, all the pros and cons uh, into into account and you're trying to see how to continue. The very important part of the Seven of Pentacles is that you're, um, you've been working, some, or working on something very hard, you've been trying to manifest something and your manifestations are coming to uh, life and you are starting to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Uh, so whatever you've been working on uh, you're going to start uh, seeing the results. Now, your reading starts with the Fool. The Fool is all about a new beginning. Uh, it can be uh, a promotion, it can be a new job, a new business, where you're taking the leap of faith and, uh, and you're starting your journey. Uh, the journey starts with the Fool, so this is, this is kind of like a new beginning uh, that came or coming into your life. And the reading starts uh, with the tower. The tower is a very disruptive energy when something we built up it's, uh, it's kind of crumbling down. This can be our old beliefs, this can be um, this can be uh, something that we were not expecting and, and, and it shakes us to the core. Uh, but overall, as, as disruptive the tower might be, it is, um, it is for your betterment, it is for your progress, uh, it is helping you to get out of situations when you are not seeing the way out. Um, now this can be some kind of a loss, uh, losing a project, losing a job, um, losing a business or anything, especially uh, with the fool, it I kind of getting a sense of having uh, starting something new and then and then this new beginning uh, suddenly um, getting disrupted and crumbles down. Uh, again, this can be some old systems uh, that are crumbling down, but it can be also your your belief system that you might need to change it and and you need to see things from a different perspective now the king of cups is is actually a very stable energy um, so i think um what's really important for me with the king of cups that you know he is sitting in the middle of an ocean uh with big waves surrounded by him but he is stable he's he knows how to handle the situation he knows how to balance his emotions and his mind so what i what i can kind of see here that you know this person can represent you represent somebody you're dealing with or just the energy of the card so whatever um disruptive energy 
or whatever disruptive change you've been going through, uh, I think you're going to be actually handle it very well. You're going to be able to uh, stay very stable because that's what the King of Cups is all about, being stable, being diplomatic, and uh, he's a very good communicator as well. So I think um, you're going to be able to you're gonna be able to or you were able to handle this big change uh, very well now the next thing um, is the page of swords uh, and pages uh, generally bring some kind of a, a communication this page is delayed with the communication so maybe you've been waiting for some kind of an email message phone call job offer and it's been delayed but once uh, the news comes in it is a good news so you just need to be a little bit patient which is kind of interesting with the seven of pentacles as well because the seven of pentacles has this waiting energy uh, so so maybe um, you've been waiting for a while this message or this news contract whatever uh, is is really delayed uh, the other important kind of aspect of the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords is very inquisitive, very curious, so maybe you've been very curious, um, but it can also mean gossip as well, so maybe there's some gossip at work uh, that either you've been participating at or the gossip is um, about you. And the Nine of Wands is indicating to me that you are very tired and you are very exhausted uh, because the Nine of Wands has been through a lot of battles, a lot of uh, um, lot of troubles, and um, and kind of ready to give up, like doesn't know how to continue. Uh, but the message of the card, especially like you know, if you've been through a tower, um, I can I can totally see that you are totally exhausted from it. It's like because uh, nobody enjoys. A disruptive change even if it is for our betterment um, but again the nine of wands is uh, always telling you to keep doing what you've been doing because you're very close to achieving whatever you are trying to do whatever you are trying to achieve so so again like I can kind of see with the seven of pentacles that you've been trying to manifest something you've been trying to create something you've been waiting 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 and you're you're very exhausted from this wait uh, but again don't give up just keep doing what you've been doing now let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's uh, an indication that this reading was helpful for you and you can help me by uh, growing the channel to make sure that the message gets out to more people for those who need it. And for you, it is only a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed all of those buttons, like, share and subscribe and uh, a reminder of, of, the, of the videos as well. But I'm always happy to read in the comments what's going on in your life. So the next uh, card is actually amazing because it is the page of pentacles. So you do have two pages. And and, and again, as I said, pages bring news. Um, and this one is bringing money. So uh, probably there's some kind of an offer that you've been waiting. And, and I can kind of see that this offer is coming in. And once you're coming in, you need to grab it with both hands because it should be a good offer. And we have kind of two pages. Maybe you are dealing with young people as well at work. And the next uh, we have here is the moon card. The moon card is can indicate a couple of things. It can indicate that um, you should follow your inner voice, your inner guidance more. And that's going to be help you to get through uh, anything you're going through and uh, maybe uh, you are afraid of making uh, some kind of a change maybe you are afraid of uh, going down the path but at the end of the road there's some kind of reward waiting for you the moon is also indicating shadows as well maybe there's something that you're not aware of and maybe this offer that the page of pentacles 
is holding you it, it's not you you don't know about it yet so it is just about to come and the last card uh, is really amazing because it's the empress the empress is all about uh prosperity abundance and nurture this has the mother earth energy she has all the abilities of all of the queens <clears throat> and and you know she is <clears throat> giving birth to something new and this uh, birth uh because this is a moniker a finance reading <clears throat> you might be something starting something new <clears throat> it can be a new project a new business a new position that's gonna be uh, very prosperous very abundant for you especially on the long run so especially if, if you've been kind of wondering if if is this something worth uh, doing the answer is definitely yes it's very interesting you when you kind of go from here the fool the seven of pentacles and the empress it kind of says that you started something new and you're kind of evaluating is this something that i want to continue to do but you actually you need you're ready to give up but you should continue to uh, do it because it's gonna uh, bring you prosperity on the long run and when we see in the bottom of the deck you do have the hierophant which is telling us to have faith that you're gonna achieve whatever you want uh, so Dear Aquarius, that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading uh, helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.